I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on the periodic table. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator and the author of the Dot Destroyer books and the Orgo Man products. I want to go over a question with you involving the periodic table. The periodic table, you want to make sure you have a good understanding of the trends, such as metallic character, ionization energy, electron affinity, things of that type. Radius is another thing important that I want you to make sure you know. So let's have a look at what I have here for you, and we can go through some of them. It says that element X was just discovered. The atomic number was 119, and what I want to do is to write the N and the L quantum numbers. The first thing we need to do is to see on the periodic table where 119 would be and what period it's located in. So if you can come over here and take a look at the periodic table that you'll get on the doubt exam, you would click on the icon and up comes the periodic table and you can see it goes to 118. 118 was fairly recently discovered. So we have 118 elements. Um, and as you can see, this being atomic number 118, so 119 would put me directly underneath transium in this family. And if you go across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it would be in the eighth period. All right. Now, now that we know what would be in the eighth period, N would be equal to eight because it would be in the eighth principal energy level. Anything in group one ends in an S1. So that means that the L quantum number would be zero because it has an S orbital electron as the valence electron. The family will be the alkali metals. Don't forget, group one is the alkali metals and group two is the alkaline earth metals. Obviously, this would be a monster. It would have 119 protons, and you would also have 119 electrons. That means you would need to go way out into the N equals 8 principal energy level to put that electron in. What would be the formula for its carbonate, phosphate, and nitrate? Well, we all know that the charge is in group 1, so this X would be plus 1. We know carbonate is minus 2, so you simply crisscross, and you would get an X2CO3. Phosphate, again, X is plus 1. Phosphate's PO4 with a minus 3, and that would give me an X3PO4. And finally, again, X is plus 1. Nitrates NO3 minus 1, and that would give me an X NO3. You want to make sure you have a good understanding of periodic table. As you go down a group, size increases. As you go across the table, the size will generally decrease. You should also know that most metallic elements are on the left side. The least metallic elements are on the right side. As you're going across the table, electronegativity and electron affinity are both increasing. As you're going down a group, the electron affinity and the electronegativity will both be decreasing as a good general rule. And finally, ionization energy, which is the energy required to remove the most loosely held electron in the gas phase of the atom will be increasing as you're going across the table and decreasing down a group. I hope this helps and gives you some good understanding of some of the key things you need to bring in to the descriptive questions on the DAT exam. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.